Greetings, everyone, and welcome back to the bench. It's time for your favorite episode, LED Bulb Teardown. What? Well, maybe a few of you would like it. Some of you? Oh, come on, give me a break. Okay, so anyway, we have a couple LED bulbs to tear down. This one is from my parents' house. It's this Meyer brand bulb. Didn't last very long, maybe a uh, better part of a year. They had it in the kitchen up in one of those recessed ceiling type fixtures. It, this is not really the proper type of bulb for that because you know it fits tightly up in there. There's no way for air to circulate. Probably got uh, pretty hot up there. And believe it or not, I had my first LED bulb failure at my house. Well, I did have a fixture go out, but as for an actual LED bulb, this is the first one since I've been using LED bulbs in, since 2011. And, well, I coming home, it was 9 p.m. Saturday night, and I was driving up to my house, I noticed the front light, I have like a security light on the side of the garage, it was out. I figured, oh, I just had to switch off because it has a uh, photo eye that turns it on in the dark. Well, not so. I checked it out, and the bulb is dead. So, yeah, let's uh, tear these things down and see what the problem is. Let's take a guess. Is it a failure of the actual LED? Could be the driver board. And sometimes I've even seen a connection problem in the base here. So we'll check it all out, see what the problem is, see what failed. Okay, I'll use my cheap little meter here because it's small and fits in the shot. Let's see if we have continuity. It's not just a bad connection. Of course, my hand's going to block the shot and not going to be able to see it and all that fun stuff. Yeah, something's going on, so it doesn't seem to be a continuity issue. Let's try this bulb. It's fun to do this. The camera in the way. Oh, this one says open circuit. It could have had the little uh, fusible resistor blow out, too, so it doesn't necessarily mean it's just a connection problem. But anyhow, I'm going to tear this one apart first. And I have to find the best way to get in here. It looks like between the uh, body and the clear lens here appears to be glued in. So I'll need some sort of tool to crack that open. One moment, please. Okay, I was able to pry this off with a screwdriver. And the board just mounted on there. I removed a couple screws. So we have this aluminum aluminum heat sink area. There's nothing below that. It's just all empty space. And looking at the board, I don't see any signs of thermal stress. Sometimes you see little dark spots in the LEDs if they've been driven hard or even cracks. On the surface there, uh, no discoloration of components or anything, but uh, that really means nothing. I'm going to put the meter on it and see. Okay, using this meter, it has a 15 volt diode mode, so uh, should get some sort of result out of these LEDs. And I did go through all of them, and. Let's see if I can get this pretty tight between these chips. Yeah, I, I went through all the chips and they all light up just fine. So yeah, I went through all of them. I checked some other components on the board. And I don't see any problem. It could be something with this driver chip. But you know what? I'm just going to hook this up to power and see what happens. Okay, I've hooked it up to mains voltage. don't want to touch it because it's live here. I have it hooked up to a bulb limiter, so I'll screw in the bulb. And 
it works. There's nothing wrong with that. That's strange. Why was I getting a connection? And when I screwed it into a socket here at my house, it did not work. It did not work at my parents' house. Maybe when I uh, tore this apart, I pulled on a wire that got loose or something. But there is nothing wrong with this bulb. It works fine. It could be a solder joint, but I didn't see any problems on the board. So, yeah. I think it had to been a connection issue. Okay, I got the diffuser off the top of this LED bulb. First thing I noticed was these little cracks in the white coating on the board. Just from all the thermal cycling. Yeah, I'm not really disappointed in this bulb because it lasts for four years. It's been in an outdoor security fixture that comes on every night. So it does have some hours. But anyway, I set the meter up in the 15 volt diode check mode and went around. Tested all the LEDs. And continued all the way around. And I don't know if you can see it, but this one has a black spot and it does not come on. So, I have a feeling that this LED popped and burned open. So I wonder if I apply power to this and bypass that LED if the rest of them will light. So let's see what happens. Okay, I've applied power and being careful not to touch the live parts just with the wire of course. So, in that case, the LED failed. The driver itself is okay. Okay, I'm trying to reassemble this bulb back into a working unit. This is a common connection failure point. This little button here, this little contact. You know, the wire doesn't fit very tightly and it loses contact. I pull this down a little bit. It's hard to do this through a camera viewfinder and bend this over. Hopefully it's still in there. Yeah. Put the little button back in. Yeah, it feels like it made good connection. Now I'll see if I can get that board back in there and finish reassembling the bulb. Okay, so I got those connecting wires back in. That cost a few coins into the tip jar. Now I'll remove my fingerprints. And I gotta remove the evidence, right? Get the board screwed down in. Oh, look at that. Works like a dream. So make sure this lens is clean. And I probably have to put some silicone or something in there unless it snaps together. But yeah, salvage that one from the landfill. Works like a charm. Well, there you have it. One bulb was repairable. The other one is shot. Not worth repairing. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.